somebody's had cancer in the past and you're really afraid of that cancer making a reappearance. It's almost like you, you're, you're regularly checking yourself for signs and symptoms of it. But the Lord says you need to check yourself for strength and, and health and vitality and healing. There's also those things flowing around your body. And the life of Jesus that's on the inside of you, the life of Christ, is stronger and more powerful than any cancer cells that can dare to place roots down in your, in your body, in your systems, in Jesus' name. You don't need to be afraid of it coming back. It's more afraid of you. It's more afraid of you right now. We just cancel that lie. We command that, that thought, that fear to literally fall to the ground in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. There's somebody, you have a shadow in your lungs. It's, it's like a, a problem in the bottom of your lung, a problem in the bottom of your lung, but that's being removed. That, that cloudiness on the x-ray is being removed right now. Thank you, there's some scar tissue I see some scar tissue right now. It's being removed. Thank you, Jesus. Someone's really afraid of um, this, this virus. Really, I see a, a fear of this virus. And, and all, even more afraid than afraid of the virus, you're afraid of a vaccine. There's just fear all over you. There's just fear and confusion all over your soul. Right now, I speak peace into you. You know, the Lord didn't give you a spirit of fear. That's why it feels so alien to you. He didn't give you a spirit of fear. He gave you a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. A sound mind. No confusion. No confusion. You don't need to be afraid of a vaccine and you don't need to be afraid of a virus. You have the power of God flowing through your veins. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. God is big enough to deal with your side effects. That's a word for someone. God is big enough to deal with your side effects. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Lee, right now, we just, we just command that lymphedema in your right leg to leave your body. To leave your body. We command all swelling to leave as well. Swelling to leave right now. All the, all the fluid that's in there, we command it to just be um, reabsorbed into your body and that swelling to go down, that pain and discomfort to leave in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We pray for Margaret. We speak healing into Margaret's body and every joint in her body. And we command any arthritis or inflammation to leave right now. To leave right now. I want to speak over psoriatic arthritis. Psoriatic arthritis right now. We curse you in Jesus' name and we command you to leave. We command you to leave in Jesus' name. Scleroderma be gone. Somebody's dealing with scleroderma right now. We cast, we cast that out of you. Leave. Thank you, sarcoidosis. Right now, leave in Jesus' name. You leave. There's a, there's, a, there's a woman that's dealing with lupus watching this. A woman that's dealing with lupus. Right now, we command that immune system to work as it was created to be. With no hindrance. With no hindrance. Right now. With no hindrance. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, we come against any malfunction of the autoimmune disease. And right now, there's, there's dysautonomia, dysautonomia. Right now, we come against them things in Jesus' name. We command those systems to function as they were created to be.